hello all welcome to source card tutorial now in this video tutorial i'll tell you about five of the hidden tools in autocad you can say that they are hidden because they are not quite frequently used and they are certainly going to increase your productivity in your day-to-day -day drawing and uh, drafting work so i'll start with the sketch tool yes you can make a freehand sketch with autocad as well so for that click on sketch you need to command uh, on command line you need to type sketch press enter now here you'll find an option for type click on type and select the type of curve that you want to make for example let's select polyline and let's ignore this increment and tolerance value for now and start making a sketch now here whatever you are making according to your mouse it will make a sketch click make another one click and another one if you have made your drawing final then press enter and the complete drawing is made out of a polyline now let's see the second tool that is a special case of press pull so for press pull I'll go to a drawing which has already been made here this one okay now this drawing as you can see is a tapered rectangle it has been tapered at certain angle now if you're familiar with 3d tools you can easily make this okay now for that I'll go to 3d modeling first now you might have guessed what I'm going to do obviously I'll use press pull command now if you will use press pull tool here click on press pull click this face and use press pull it will do something like this it will extrude actually it will extrude the upper face in a perpendicular direction that is along z-axis what if you want to continue along this taper if you want to extrude the top face along this taper then you need to use the press pull special case which I am going to tell you now select press pull keep pressing control and click on the top face and now move your cursor and voila here you can see it is tracing this taper exactly as it is so this is a special case of press pull and you might not find this in the prior versions of AutoCAD like 2012 and all the prior versions it's available only in 2013 and on the later, ver later versions of AutoCAD okay then the next tool is text explode for text explode let's close this now we'll enter a text here so let's just go to annotate and a multi-line text let's insert a multi-line text here so let's write uh, here auto cad and increase its value to 1 okay 1 and click here now if you want to make it into 3d drawing or you want to hatch the inside of this drawing you won't be able to do this right now so for that we need to convert this text object into a line object for that you can use text explode command that is txt exp and press enter select your object in this case it's a multi-line text and press enter as soon as you press enter you'll see this object is converted into a line object okay you'll find these extra lines you can safely delete or erase them and now you can hatch them or extrude or do whatever you want in a as a separate object so hatch and there it is you can hatch it in any way that you like okay you can also convert it into 3d so I'll show you an example how you can do this so let's first trim it I have trimmed this thing and uh, okay now after cleaning and trimming this let's join it into a single unit J enter now it has been joined into a single unit let's go to 3d extrude select T and there it is you can convert it into a 3d object as well 
after exploding it like this so there you go now our next tool is perch for perch tool i'll use this drawing it has been created by me just to explain this tool okay for this let's go to drafting and annotation now here you will find four blocks these are the four blocks here and also i have created a few layers like blue green magenta red yellow these are the layers which i have created now let us assign these objects to some blocks for example i'll keep this block on blue layer now i'll keep this block on green layer and i'll keep this block on red layer now these three blocks are assigned on three layers i have not assigned this block on any layer so right now what are the free layers which are not at all assigned that is magenta and yellow although zero is a default layer so it should not be counted in this okay now if you want to delete anything which is unused for example i just later came to know that i don't need this tub anymore and i delete it okay now since you have deleted it here it's no longer on the screen but still it's in the memory it's in the database of autocad and you can see it here bath tub so if you want to delete it from here also then you need to purge it also if you want to delete extra layers which are present here you need to use purge command so use purge and press enter now here you will find this plus sign this indicates all the unused objects which are present in your drawing right now you want to purge block so click on block and this is the bathtub since it is not on the screen it's appearing here if the bathtub would have been on screen it won't appear here so click on bathtub and purge select purge this item and that bathtub is no longer here now let's go to layers and we have two layers extra layers now let's click on magenta and purge it now you have only yellow layer and magenta is no longer here also there is no such block as bathtub it has been deleted so that is what a purge command does also you can purge all the items which are not in the drawing all at once using purge all use purge all and purge all items and everything which is not used in drawing has been deleted okay the last tool is overkill so let's use it let's say i have a circle and i have got overlapping two circles okay overlapping three circles and i have a arc on this okay let's trace it and uh, okay so we have three circles and a an arc overlapping this now let's make a line object like this let's make a few more lines which are overlapping now we have got many overlapping objects on this if you want to remove all those redundant or overlapping objects all at once you should go ahead and choose the overkill tool so you will find that overkill tool here that is the delete duplicate objects you can either command on command press overkill or you can click this icon here so click on this select all the objects and press enter a window will appear just click okay on that window and everything that is extra on this drawing has been removed now you can see that it has a single line single line single and a single line there is no such redundant lines also there is a single circle here no arcs nothing overlapping over here so these are all the five tools i hope they will just increase your productivity and if you have used them in a different way do let me know
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए नाइस डे